Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. This is the third video of what we're doing here today for this service change. We've got this all finished up. Uh, this is the final product. This is our bypass lever. So if I turn that on right here, this pop panel is now juiced. Hit my main disconnect and all my breakers are on automatically there. Um, we've already tested the circuits. And as we go through the simplest procedure to test as well, um, basically, we were able to meet the code that this is coming at 6.5 instead of 6.7 is the highest point of your disconnect. We're at 6.5. We were also able to meet Excel's code by having um, having this knockout here instead of over here. And we were able to fit all our grounding in here. Here's our grounding. We got two ground rods that we ran. Here's our grounding bridge. And our Comcast line that's coming from here, grounding to here. Uh, we installed an outlet, which in, co in commercial, it's now required at every service to have an outlet. We did it here just because they asked us. Um, but it does have its heavy duty cover, weatherproof GFCI. Um, also, just, you know, like I was telling you about these tandem breakers and these full breakers, there's a lot of halves and folds in here. They still have 11 more spots. If I quad up these breakers, these 50s and 15s, um, we can get them another 11 more circuits. Made sure we had our aluminum copper splice connectors for our ones that were really short. Uh, we've got your Lumicons in there and a few twist caps as well. Um, got our bond bushings on. Uh, all our grounding back here. And our number four all the way to the cold water shutoff in the basement. I'll show you where that is. We ran this across here. And then came all the way down here. And we drilled right into the basement here. Um, again, we did that because we didn't want to have to cut drywall through the ceiling. Their basement's finished with the hard lid ceiling. So we came into the utility closet next to the radon. Just cut a small hole out. Let's go downstairs. I do want to show you guys that. A lot of uh, customers don't understand why that cold water bond has to be there. And they surely don't like their drywall cut. But the city will not pass my inspection unless I have that. So the last thing that we gotta do is go to that panel and label all the circuits. You gotta figure out where all these circuits go in the house for all the equipment and small branch circuits, any sub panels. Okay, so we just came in here, put a little small hole, and then we flexed it on top of here. Um, I like to protect my number four conductor all the way down because a lot of times that black wire can get mis. Uh, misunderstood as a Comcast cable and if someone comes in here like these guys are going to have a Comcast come in or somebody and clean up a lot of old lines that are not even being used because it's ran all over the garage in the back of the house. We just don't want them to mistake that so we put conduit and then down here we choked it so this is the cold water shut off this is their sprinkler valve. Um, again we choke it right here within five foot of where it enters it enters right here in this cement. And a lot of people say, well, why is that? Well, that's one of it is because of lightning strikes. And, um, and that's also the ground rods. But the second reason is, is if that transformer faults and shunts backwards, and let's say the breaker doesn't take it as much as a buffer on that, the, the fault current is, goes past the 10,000 AIC fault current, this will actually help buffer it too. Because this is the best ground. You're already six foot underground. Well, you're probably about four and a half feet underground to five foot where this, this uh, cold water main shutoff water or, or the supply to the home goes straight out to the street. So that's completely in the soil um, and it comes in the home. So they found it as a better way to go. The last thing I wanted to show you as we go back upstairs is we disconnected because a lot of the homes in the 80s, they talk about how they had a cold water ground, which this had number six years ago because it was 100 amps on this house. We up this house to 200 amps now. 
So we have 100 amps per phase more for capacity for them to run a hot tub or and even just extra breakers too. But we disconnected it right here. This was the old ground underneath the kitchen sink. And um, I had other inspectors tell me just disconnect that and fold that up. And we did not attach it in the panel. Um, I think it's good to have another ground, but they don't want that. They want it only at the cold water shut off and the two ground rods. So anyways, guys, yeah, this was a pretty long job. Uh, took did this all day today. Even came last night and did the grounding on it to get ahead. Uh, tomorrow we'll go for our inspection. Thanks for joining us.